What's up everybody, this is Hoser. I'm just gonna give you a quick update on my pump. So this is gonna be my new DIY sump filter. Um, I went ahead and I put it, bought this hefty thing that I was just about to give up on. And I'm gonna give it one more chance. I haven't even installed it. It was all these, these plastic, uh, I guess this plexiglass had a whole bunch of leaks. And I was getting fed up because of the angle of the tank or the angle of the bucket. Um, I put these little things for the 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 drip plate. Um, I haven't really tested it out yet. I'm just making it out here. This is the foam. And but I figured I'm gonna try one on my salt water. Has it? I'm gonna start a salt water one. So I figured I'd practice on my fresh water. Especially because now that I've seen various YouTube videos, that canister filter that I had is just a pain in the butt. It was hiding. I had it in the under the, the tank, the aquarium, to take it all apart. It was just going to be a pain. So I never did. Uh, I just went ahead and left it there. It's been almost a year. And now I just want to see, let you know. I had an overhang filter also, by the way. And I just wanted to show you, I guess, how dirty this thing was. This is my old canister filter now. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's leak. It doesn't leak. Um, so everything was fine. It ran fine. I even had I had a bucket on here. It was inside here, just to test it out, make sure that it didn't leak. Um, but it never leaked. The only problem is getting into here to clean all this crap out. And now I'm going to show you how dirty this thing was. I used these sponges. <clears throat> and now this is the, the the fiber, I guess you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it, but this thing was dirty. And it's, it was, like I said, it was just a pain in the butt. I didn't even want to touch it. I just figured it was working. I had some ammonia crystals that I couldn't even change. I had some carbon that I couldn't change. And then this was like a little blocker thing. And then the rest were bio balls. So, like I said, um, it was it was good. It worked. It was actually like this. This is how it was under the tank. I put a little valve in there that actually seemed to that kind of worked right now when I took it apart and uh, yeah so now I'm gonna work on this I'm gonna test it out I'm going to use those bio balls and stuff that I had in there and um, this is gonna go closed it's gonna trickle down go over at least the idea is it will go over, come down, I'll have my ammonia and my carbon in here and my pump and it'll just come right out through there and into the tank. Um, in this canister I was using a half inch hose. I don't know if you could see it. Maybe it's not even a half inch. I don't know. But anyway, all my fittings were half inch. You could see that. Maybe not. I wrote down stuff just to make sure. I, I like to dumb everything down. I don't like making mistakes. Because as you know, when you screw it up and you have to take it apart, oh, it sucks. So anyways, um, now I'm going to work on this. And I'll give you an update later. Show you what's going on. And we'll go from there. Alright, later.